Good afternoon and welcome back to the One Celtic Fans View this afternoon. What we're going to do is we've done this on one of the lives a few weeks ago. We're going to go through the Celtic squad and we're going to say, should you keep them, should you sell them or bench them? What do you think? Right, let's start off with the goalkeepers. Joe Hart, should we keep on bench him or sell him? We're not going to, we're not going to sell Joe Hart because we're going into the last six months of his contract. So Joe Hart, we're obviously going to keep him um, purely for the fact that he is in the last six months of his contract. It doesn't look like he will sign a new contract. All the suggestions are that he's going to go off to America to finish his football. So Joe Hart, he's one that you keep. Scott Bain. He's just signed a new deal at Celtic uh, just about six months ago. Uh, a new three-year deal, I think it was. Um, so him, you're going to keep. We're going to keep him just because of the Scottish contingent that we need for Europe. Looking forward to the European campaign next season. The third and final goalkeeper that we have is Benji Segrist. Um, should we sell him or keep him? He doesn't get benched just now. So for me, I would actually sell Benji Segrist. I think it's time that Celtic brought in. We do need to bring in a new keeper. If we don't sell Benji Segrist, we're still going to have to bring a new keeper in anyway. Will we bring a new keeper in at the next transfer window? Well, that's, um, nobody knows. Um, I don't think Brendan Rodgers is actively looking at one for this transfer window, but it is paramount that we get a new top-class goalkeeper in for the next season because Scott Bain just isn't it, and Benji Segrist definitely isn't. So for me, at this transfer window and just the opening is just a couple of weeks' time, I would sell Benji Segrist. Now let's get on to the defenders. First up is our number two. It's Alistair Johnston. Alistair Johnston, bench, keep or sell. And uh, Alistair Johnston, uh, is, although he's not reached the heights that he was of last season, I would still keep him. I still think he's a fantastic player and he does have a little bit off days, but he does need stronger players around him. Now, number three, Greg Taylor. That's an interesting one. A Greg Taylor who obviously had a, a good bit of form under the previous manager. Hasn't hit the heights this season, but there's another defender that's just as bad. So, um, will we keep Greg Taylor? Bench him or sell him? Um, he's the best player that we've got for that position just now. So you're going to keep Greg Taylor. So that's two that we're going to keep in defence. You're going to keep Alistair Johnson and Greg Taylor. The next up is our number four, Gustav Lager-Belke. Gustav Lager-Belke is an interesting one. He was brought in during the summer and everyone thought he was going to do actually quite well. Although he is a young lad and a prospect, um, it looks like he will be put out on loan. He will be put out on loan is the word on the street. Uh, Gustav Lagerbelke will be put out on loan in the next transfer window. So that would be an interesting one to keep on watch to see where he actually goes out on loan or if he'll actually be sold. There is word that be, he will go out on loan to get him some game time. Then next up is our number five, Liam Scales. Keep bench or sell Liam Scales, of course. You're going to keep Liam Scales. Fantastic season that the Irishman has been having for Celtic. And I think that he has cemented that position as his own, which is one thing that you know Celtic fan would have said at the start of the season. So for me, if it's keep, keep number five, Liam Scales. Then up is number six, Nat Phillips. Send him back. Boom. Send him back to Liverpool. I think he's already back in Liverpool. Uh, he'll certainly not make the squad for this weekend. And next up is number 17 in our defence is Big Rocky. Big Mike Rocky. Um, Keep him, sell him, or bench him. For me, he needs benched. He needs some. He needs some time on the bench. He needs to get in about that first team. He's been nowhere to be seen, and there's not been any word from Celtic if he's injured or not. There's, you know, it's one of those things. He was bought for good money. You would expect him to come in and see some game time the second half of the season. Next up is number eighteen, Yuki Kobe Ashi. It's understood that Kobe Ashi will be sold at the next transfer window, just open in a few weeks. So. Big Rocky, number 17, I'm going to keep him, give him some bench time. He needs to get in and around that first team squad. Number 18 in our defence, uh, Kobayashi, he will be sold and sent backpacking to Japan. Up number, up next, number 20 in our keep, bench or sell category. It's the one and only Cameron Carter Vickers. Of course, we're going to keep the big man himself. It is a bit of a worry that we have not heard anything from Celtic today with regards to will he be fit or not for the weekend. It is only Tuesday afternoon, so surely Celtic would have had some information back about Cameron Carter Vickers. I remember keeping it wrapped under wraps until the press conference on Thursday afternoon. Next up in defence is number 25, who was brought in to knock Greg Taylor off his perch. Alexandro Bernabe. 
what can we say about him? It being a big disappointment for us at Celtic. Uh, the guy that's came in from Argentina, I had high hopes for him. I thought he was going to do fantastically well, but he's just not cut the mustard. Um, he's been well known for his off-field antics at the beginning of this season, which uh, caused him a bit of trouble. But he is a player that looks as if he's going to be on... Well, he can't even make the... Well, he has made the bench a few times, but... He was brought on in the game and he was played way out of position. Will he be sold or put out on loan the next transfer window? It looks like he's going to be put out on loan or maybe sold if we can get a buyer. It is said that he might be, he does want to go to Italy to play some football. Next up is number 56, Anthony Ralston. Would you keep bench or sell Big Tony? Big Tony is going to be kept just for the Scottish contingent. He is a fantastic player to bring on. Um, it is a big just clumsy bullet of a lad. He, he just he goes through people. And he has got a, a powerful kick that he sometimes, he just hits a rocket, doesn't he? You're going to keep big Tony Rousen just for this, the Scottish contingent. Another next up in defence, and our final defender is Stephen Welsh. Stephen Welsh did, did sign that new contract with Celtic at the beginning of the season. You are going to keep him due to the length of his contract. And he's still a young age, remember, Stephen Welsh. He's still a good age so that he can improve slightly as a player. So we'll go through the defenders again. Alice Johnson, keep Greg Taylor, keep Gustav Lagerbelke, put on loan. Liam Scales, you're going to keep Nat Phillips, send him back to Liverpool for me. Rocky, he needs bench and needs some game time. Kobe Ashe, he looks as if he's going to be on his way back to Japan. Sold. Uh, Cameron Carter-Vickers, we're going to keep him. Number 25, Alexandro Bernabe. It looks like he will be either loaned or sold at the next transfer window. His preferred option is a team in Italy. And then number 56, number 57 is Tony Rousen and Stephen Welsh. You're going to keep both those players. Now, next up is our midfield. Our midfield in keep, bench or sell. First up is David Turnbull. What can we say about David Turnbull? It's a disappointment that he did not sign the new contract that was offered to him at the beginning of the season. He did get some game time. He was a, he was a, he was performing a lot better performance-wise uh, than Rio Hattati at the start of the season. He got his game time. He scored a good few goals, but he didn't want to sign that contract. Hence the reason he's not as played as much as what he probably could have if he had signed that new contract. But will Celtic sell him the next transfer window? It has been on the bench recently. It'll be interesting to see. For me, sell him now at the next transfer window just to get some money back for the three million that we paid Motherwell back in 2020. Next up is Big Odin. Big Odin Ohm. Um, he's a player that should have a decent career at Celtic, but he hasn't had much game time. Will he be loaned out or will he make an impact for the second half of the season? If he's fit, bench him for me. He is one for the future. Now, number 16, the man, the myth. Yes, he's Irish, James McCarthy. Where is James McCarthy? The player that played for the B team just a couple of weeks ago and was brought off on the 56th minute. Brought off in a B team game. Says all you want about James McCarthy and by the time his contract is up, he will have cashed in over £2 million. Get rid of James McCarthy now. Get him off the wage bill. He's on about 14 grand a week. Um, we won't be able to sell him. You're not going to get any money for James McCarthy. Release the guy his contract. But then Celtic did try to release him uh, last summer and he didn't want to take the cut in wages it would have took if he stuck around to the end of his contract, which is up in the summer. Next up is Quan. Quan's an interesting one. He hasn't had a lot of time, the, the South Korean. Um, he's an in, I don't know if we're going to bench him or if we're going to sell him. I think he's going to be benched or maybe put back out alone. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. That's a hard one for me. I'm not too sure. He is a fantastic player, but he does... It's, where does he go in that midfield, you know? Um, so I'm not sure about that one. I would say bench. Next up is Tomoki Awata. The man, the mountain. Tomoki Awata, who comes in and plays absolutely fantastic in the position that Callum McGregor plays. For me, we need to keep him, but we need to keep him fit. Seems to be the hardest thing with Tomoki Awata. Ever since he's came to Celtic, he came to, he's been dogged with injuries. But he is a player that once he gets a level of games in him, should be use that position that Callum McGregor's in just now, and we'll get Callum McGregor further forward. So for me, it is bench Tomoki Awata. Now, the man that is on loan from Benfica. Yes, the man that was everyone was saying, he's not really that good. Is he not worth six million? Should Celtic, Celtic definitely have the option to buy Paolo Bernardo? He upped his game last weekend. Let's see if he can up his game this weekend. 
chin up Paolo and shows what you can do on the big stage in the SPFL. This is a game where it matters this weekend. Paolo Bernardo for me is a keep until the end of the season. And then, then we'll decide whether he's a buy um, or not because I think um, it all depends how he does the second half of the season for me. If he gets a good run of games and performs, Celtic will obviously take up that option to buy and keep him. But let's just see what happens. Now, the man of the moment, the man that's on everyone's tongues, the one that is under intense speculation transfer-wise, many teams have said that they're going to come in for him. Put your money where your mouth is. Pay up the forty million or whatever it is. Nah, it's not going to be that. Some fans are saying he's worth forty million. Celtic are going to go for twenty-five plus. Will Peter Law will sell him the next transfer window? No. For me, it's a must that we keep Matt O'Reilly. Matt O'Reilly for me is the man in the midfield that has been stood up to the plate since Rio Hatati's went missing this season with injuries. Um, he's a player that Celtic will get big, big money for when he finally moves on. But I think we're going to have another couple of seasons. Keep Matt O'Reilly all day long for me. That's our number 33. Next up is the man who came on and scored a goal or two in his first outing at Celtic. Could he return this weekend? Could he return the one and only Rio Hatati? Could Rio return this weekend to score another absolute screamer of a goal from outside the box let's hope he does will he be fit enough to get even on the bench let's hope that he is back for this weekend because this is an important game and it'll be he'll be an important player for us for the second half of the season that's why Celtic are taking the time with the decision to play Rio Hatati or not they know that it is a long stretch to the end of the season after the winter shutdown that's coming up just in a week's time Will they play this weekend? I don't know. Will we keep them? Yes, definitely. We need to keep Rio Hitate. Callum McGregor, the Scottish player, our captain, our leader. He's not up there in the sort of Bruni style, but he is our leader and he is, uh, he is more motivational than a lot of people give him credit for. Callum McGregor for, McGregor, for me, is a keep all day long. And also 49 is James Forrest. So 42, Callum McGregor, you keep him. Jamesy Forrest, we're keeping him. Don't care what people say. We're keeping James Forrest to the end of his contract. And then James will go and work with the backroom staff at Celtic um, in a coaching capacity, which will be well-deserved for a player that has pledged his whole career to the one team in Celtic. And he has won a fantastic amount of medals, has James Forrest. Now, moving on to our forwards. We start off with the man, the moment, the winger, Lewis Palmer, number seven. Lewis Palmer, we're going to keep him all day long. Yeah, we're not going to bench him. We're not going to sell him. We're going to keep Lewis Palmer. He is going to go for big money sometime. I don't know if he's going to get his ambition, realise his ambition and go to Spain straight from a move to Celtic. I think he still needs to... There's a little couple of tweaks in his game that he needs to improve on to get that move to a big club in Spain. Um, it, it just... Sometimes he just needs to pass the ball just a little bit quicker. A few seconds and that would make him a really good player. You know, his final ball can be a bit better, but then we need a striker in the position to get those final balls and get in there. When he puts a final ball in, when we've got a striker that's in the box and in the right position, he could be a fantastic asset for Celtic over the next couple of years. Keep Louis Palmer all day long. The next forward is our number eight. Kyogo Furiashi. Kyogo Furiashi, of course, we're going to keep him. Um, he's never lived up to uh, what we expect. Kyogo, he is only three goals, remember, behind where he was last season. He's not been getting the the balls in that he requires, if you ask me. He's not been getting in the position that he requires, but he still is a fantastic striker. And I am going to take him to score this weekend. Keep Kyogo Furiashi. Next up is our number 11. It's a player that we've really missed for his pace this season. Um, he scored some fantastic goals and some fantastic assists over the last couple of years. Leo Labada is a must that will keep him. Never mind what the media are saying, never mind what people on social media are saying, Leo Labada will be a Celtic player after the next window. We will keep Leo Labada. And next up is our number 13. And it's a player that comes from South Korea and I'm not too sure about him. He has been called up to the international squad. We will miss him when the Asia Cup starts in January. Yes, it is Yang. Tell me what you think about Yang. Should we keep him? Should we bench him? Should we sell him? I think he's definitely one for the bench. He's not good enough for me on a first-team basis just yet as a permanent game. You know, he's a good sub to come on to bench, 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 our number 13, Yang. Now, what about another player 
from South Korea. That is also going to the Asia Cup. Our number 19, our number 19, he is still a young guy. He has been called up to this competition, even though he's not had a lot of game time when you put it into perspective for Celtic this season. But oh, comes on and he scores, a, he scored a, a good few goals. He has that upper body strength. He needs to just calm down. I think he snaps at balls a little bit too bit, but he's a fantastic player to have on the bench. Unless Celtic go out and buy someone unbelievably good in the striking department, it will be really, really fun to see what Brendan Rodgers does the second half of the season when he has three strikers to choose from. So for me, it's bench O, although we will miss him for the Asia Cup. Another player, another winger that we have that comes from Australia that is also going to the Asia Cup. Another player that is going to the Asia Cup is Marco. Marco Tilio. Marco Tilio is going to the Asia Cup, and well, let's face it, we've not seen a lot of him. The one game that we did see of him, um, I thought he, was, he had a good bit of pace about him. He had a good bit of feet, a good bit of trickery about him. I want to see more of him. I want to see Marco on the bench more. I want to see him on the bench more, and I want to see him get more game time the second half of the season. Now, our number 38, Mr. Duracell Bunnyman himself. He can run all day long. His final ball isn't the greatest, but Dyson Myra controversial would you bench sell or keep Dyson Myra for me I'm going to keep him you're going to keep him till the end of the season anyway because you're not going to get him sold in January due to the Asia Cup um and I think he's a player that when he's on his game and he has someone of a just a similar pace to him on the other side of the pitch like the one and only Jota for instance um I think he's a player that will still do Celtic a good turn and he has a good link up with Kyogo which should help us the second half of the season now our last player to speak about in the forwards department is the one and only number 90. Number 90, who plays for Ireland, born in Scotland. Yes, Mikey Johnson. Mikey Johnson scored a couple of goals at the weekend. He hasn't scored a goal since 2019 for Celtic. Remember, he was out alone last season. So you can take that one season out of it. But is it a player that we should sell at the next transfer window? Keep or loan him out. You're not going to get him loaned out because he's only got six months of his contract left. I think as a player that, funnily enough, Brendan Rodgers likes as a player, and I think I think he's going to get another year's extended contract um, just to keep him on the boots at Celtic and just say, look, we'll give you that year. Uh, I don't know if there's an option of a year to go on his contract or if it is just the end of the contract, but I think he might get a year's extension if not, he'll be out the door uh, th this summer with Celtic because he's not made the grade and Celtic will all go out and buy someone else to come in and take over from Mikey Johnson. Tell me what you think about in the comments. Mikey Johnson, keep him, sell him. Well, we can't loan him out because he's only got six months left. We keep him to the end of the season anyway. Um, or should we sell him at the next transfer window to just get some money in for the player? Now, there are a lot of Celtic players out for loan. You've got Toby, uh, young Toby, the goalkeeper. Ida Gucci, Ida Gucci has been sold. He is off. Said Hagsabanovic, or number nine. He's already been loaned out. Sell him straight away. Matthew Anderson, the defender, who is on loan to Admiral Waka. Um, I think he's out on loan for the full season. He's a player that I would really like to get back at Celtic and see him getting some game time. Liam Shaw, midfield player. He is on loan at Willigan Athletic. I'm not too sure if he's going to make the grade. I think he will be sold at the next transfer window. One, a little Irishman who went back to Shamrock Rovers, Johnny Kenny. It's unfortunate. He's 24-year-old. If you think he's going to make the grade at Celtic, um, he would have been in the first team and in and about the first team. I don't think that he will... Uh, make it at Celtic and firstly I think he'll be sold to Shamrock Rovers anyway a big defender I thought personally he was a big season for Boston Lowell 36 or number 36 who is on loan to Fleetwood Town now remember he was put out on loan to Fleetwood Town when the one and only Bruni was the manager there it was going to be interesting to see Bruni working with the Celtic players bringing them on him and Adam Montgomery I thought it was big seasons for them Big, big seasons. I thought Adam Montgomery could have been in about the Celtic squad. Boson Lowell should have been in the Celtic team this season. It was imperative. We had defenders that were out left, right, and centre. We brought in some defenders. Why did we bring in defenders when we've got Boson Lowell that should have been taken up our chin and into the team? You know, he's he's better than what I would say. He's better than Gustav Lager Belke, and he should have been in and around the first team. A player that I wanted to see this season what i had high expectations he did get brought in towards the end of last season ben mcpherson he is out on loan also he is out on loan for the full season i thought it would have been interesting to get him he could have been playing this season he's another one that i thought could have been playing this season but 
There is a midfield player that went out to Dunfermline. Absolute cannot wait to get this guy back because I think he's going to be a fantastic player for Celtic. Ben Summers. Ben Summers is one that you keep all day long. So with that being said, tell me in the comments which players that you think should be sold from Celtic in this transfer window. Which ones should you keep? And which ones just shouldn't we never talk about again?